In the last example, we looked at selecting specific cases of data. This time, we're going to look at taking a random sample. So say, for example, you have a huge database um, with thousands and thousands of cases or participants, and you just want to select a random sample of that database. You can do it using the Select Cases tool. So if you go back to Data, Select Cases, and instead of choosing the if condition like we did last time, we're going to choose either the first or the second. So random sample of cases, if I click on this and click sample, I can then choose if I want say 50% um, of all the cases that would, so if I've got 70 in my data set now, it would randomly select 35 of them or I can specify exactly how many I want. So say for example, I want to take exactly 50 from the first 70 cases. So I only have 70 in my data set. If you've got thousands and thousands, you may want to only select 100 from the first thousand or something to that effect. So you can choose how you randomly select your cases. I'm going to go back here and choose the approximately 50%. Click continue. And then our output options, filter out unselected cases, or we could copy um, selected cases to a new data set or delete them. I said before, I don't like the delete option. Um, I like to keep my original data set and either use filter out or copy. So say if I had a huge data set, I might want to copy them to a new data set. So I'm going to give it a name and call it random sample. And go ahead and click OK. OK, so if we open up our new data set, um, I can see that it's called random sample. My data file is called untitled2, so I will need to name the file, but my data set has been named. And if I scroll down here, I've got 41 cases. Now you might wonder, why do I have 41 when I asked for 50%? Well, it's approximately 50%, so it's around half of the data set. I should expect around 35. So in this case, it has selected 41, um, and I can see here by the ID column that it has taken a random sample from my original data set. If we go back to the original one, select cases again, this time, I'm going to choose based on time or case range. So if you click on range, I can choose to select a range of cases. So say I want observations 10 through 20. Click continue, and this time I'm just going to filter out unselected cases. Click OK. And if we have a look, it's only cases 10 to 20 who have actually been selected. Now on this one, it's not really a random selection, but it is a different select case option.